what to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. Well, if you prefer to make your New Year's a cozy occasion, Ryan J is here with a few movie ideas to rent, stream, or download right in the comfort of your own home. That's right. I like that. Ryan J's mm -hmm. back Welcome with back. us. Thanks for joining Thanks. us on our panel. That was a lot of fun. It was, was fun. fun. I can't believe you kissed Alanis Morissette. I can't believe I did either. <laughs> <laughs> True it's story. awesome. True yeah. Story. Well, this year, if people decide to stay in, and it's a long weekend, so regardless if they stay in tonight or just are home for the weekend, there's a lot of great movies that you have that people can rent, download, whatnot right. to and enjoy. These movies Many of them are on my top 10 list of 2015. So gotcha. you might not want to just rent them. You might want to actually own them. So go okay. ahead and purchase them. You might want to re-watch them again and again. And I like mm -hmm. that. First one. Kingsman, the the Secret Service, rated R. This is one of your favorites. Huh? This is this is on my top ten list. It is the best action movie of the year. It really fires on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. It stars Colin Firth and Sam Jackson is in it as a bad guy. I was loving when he plays that kind of character. There's Taron Egerton who's fantastic, and they've already greenlit a sequel for this coming out in 2017. And I am so excited because when this came out earlier this year, I loved it so much right away. It not only made my top ten list of 2015. It's probably among my top 10 favorite movies ever made. I remember you saying it because you've referred this one to me before. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet, but I probably will this weekend. So this one's a good one. It's rated R, yes. and you think it's the best action of the year. Of the year, absolutely. Love that. All right. The next one is The Gift, and that's rated R as well. This is the best thriller of the year. Okay. And I love this movie because it's written, directed by, and starring Joel Edgerton, who's fantastic. We most uh, likely know him. There he is. Uh, there's Jason Bateman. Mm -hmm. There's Joel. Okay. Um, he was. Uh, look alike. Yeah, but... he was in The Great Gatsby. Jason Bateman is so good in this and he plays against type and it's very interesting to see him play kind of a non-comedic role and what I love about this as a thriller is it breaks down every expectation we have as an American audience in a thriller so it's suspenseful and you're on the edge of your seat but you're for different reasons than you normally are normally it's music or editing yeah. that kind of makes you feel a little bit you know quirky or off this movie doesn't have that as much and you're it's purely the story and purely the character development that puts you in a very uncomfortable situation I love it Whoa. Feel it watching yes. Yes. this. The clips. It's ominous. Uh, yeah. uh, that is the, the gift. gift. Best thrill huh. of the year. Okay, best sci fi of the year for sci fi fans. Ex Machina. Love this movie. That I didn't my, see it. Right, my oh, second so good. time. We saw it in the theater. Yeah, together. I loved it so much. I dragged you to yeah. it. And this is phenomenal. It co stars so uh, Alicia Vikander, who will be nominated for an Oscar this year for her performance in The Danish Girl, where she plays Eddie Redmayne's wife in that film. She deserves one for this film as well. It also has Donald Gleason and um, what's his name from Star. Star Wars, who I loved, uh, Isaacs. Oscar yeah. Isaacs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's amazing, this so movie. Good. It's the kind of movie where you just get fully swept up into it, and then as soon as it's over, you want to talk, talk. about what happens next, yes. what happened in it. You can kind of dissect it. It is just brilliant and has really interesting implications for not only where we're at, but where we may go in terms of technology. You have to watch this with someone, because you're right. right. Afterward, you really do want to talk about it for yeah, a while. Yeah, I mm -hmm. get that. And sort of play it out and see how you both interpreted certain things. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now, you, you recommended to both Tiffany and me Danny Collins, and we both loved it. So good. I thought it was a great yep. movie. Yeah. So so did my boyfriend. He loved it. Loved so guys it. and girls yes. alike. This is the best dramedy of the year mm -hmm. and what I think makes a, a great dramedy is that when the laughs are really organic and you really do burst out with laughter yeah. <laughs> and the drama part does get you to well up with tears and this has one of the most perfect scripts of any film ever this came out early in the year in April and I wrote in my review at that time it will be hard pressed to be kicked off my list of the top 10 it made my top 10 list it is a brilliant film Al Pacino's best performance so good. his scene when he first meets Annette Bening in the film is so perfect I could yeah. literally just rewatch that same 10 minutes yes. over and over again it's amazing Amazing, mm -hmm. and it has a really great, heartwarming overall feeling, kind of like last year with Saint Vincent uh -huh. or Chef, which I know we saw yep. together in the theater. Love, love that. Molly, and so Danny Collins is a winner. This is one I feel all ages enjoy too. You could watch this with your parents. You can watch this with a significant other. Great Absolutely. Movie. Mm -hmm. All right, um, The Walk, PG. This is the best biopic of the year. It is. I love this movie. It's my favorite director, Robert Zemeckis, and it stars uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as oh, yeah, this one. Philippe Pettit. It's a true story of the Frenchman who, you know, put the high wire. Across the Twin oh, Towers, yeah. walked across. Best special effects of the year, and I'm saying that even after Star Wars The Force Awakens came out. This movie should have been mm. seen on the big screen in 3D, but it's still worth seeing because the story is great, the performances are great, and it pays such great homage to 9-11 and the Twin Towers. And mm. going right to Inside Out, because we don't want to, we are running out of time. Mm. Best family movie of the year. And one of the best movies of the year, period. Did you cry at this? I didn't, but this is my number two favorite film of the year. 
only wow. behind The Revenant, which was my favorite movie of the year, it comes out next month. But Inside Out is good for all ages. Genius. It means something different, right? It is a genius. It's deep. It is progressive. It is profound. And it will mean something different to you as a child versus when you watch it as an adult. You get mm -hmm. it on different levels. And it's really bold of Disney to make a family film about the development of depression in humanity. And it's amazing. So cute. I want to see that. that. All right, Netflix, for those of you at home, we teased this earlier, Making of Murderer. Making a Murderer. I freaked out. Well, there's so many celebrities that have been tweeting about this. And really? talking about how it's like a musty thing. It's so close to home. It takes place in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Oh. It's 10 episodes. Ooh, it just got chills. Yeah, 10 hours long. And I literally binge watched this over two days. I could not stop watching until it was over. And I was infuriated. I wanted to like throw my foot through the TV at one point. I wanted to stop watching. There was another part where I was like regretting that I even began watching this. And I couldn't. And Ugh. it's incredible, and you can't tear away from it. And I just, if you want to binge watch, if you want to start early today and watch through New Year's, Netflix Making a Murderer is a must see. That Creepy. is awesome. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. Making a Murderer, you can get it on Netflix. You have to subscribe to that just for those of you who aren't familiar right. with it. Mm -hmm. you, um, great suggestions, I think, for people who want to stay in and watch a movie on New Year's Eve. Don't risk going out on the roads. Yeah, you can also like safe. Ryan J on Facebook and follow him on Twitter for full movie reviews. Go to his website. It is ryanjreviews.com. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies.